Good morning. Say good morning, Ruby. She's like, no, I'll just sniff you. Okay, Ruby. We're dancing. Bye. -bye. way today and we're headed to the barn at least I think we're headed to the barn because uh, Fiona hasn't contacted me she never really confirmed that we just start back again today but she did tell me that she's back today so hopefully we have we're going to the barn today we have a super special video that we're gonna shoot at the barn um, while we're there that was requested so we have uh, so much fun planned today um, I can't wait to share with you guys Gabby is finishing up her book report what book are you reporting about? Uh, the Princess and the Fall so by for, Stacey Gray. So any of our readers who are reading this or want to read this, what would you tell them? What would you give them for a review? Uh, would you say, oh, it was terrible, or what? Like it says on here, five stars. Five stars. You give this baby five stars? Is it your new favorite book, or are you still like the other one better? Uh, still like the other one better. What's the other one called? Uh, the Island of the the Island of the Lost Horses, but yeah, Sophia is a Stacy Gregg fanatic. Uh, Gabby. Gabby. Oh, did I call you Stacy or Sophie? Sophie. Sophie? All right, so Gabby is a Stacy Gregg fanatic, and Sophie is making her folder. We're just getting around to doing this. Usually, we have a folder that we store all of our work in for the whole year, and she's whoops, yeah. sorry, sorry, it's not dry yet. sorry. She's doing our logo. She's just got different beads though. She's got a bead bucket here and some glue, a bunch of markers, and then Gabby's gonna do hers today too. Horse. And a horse. Did you draw that yourself? Yeah. Super and cool. For mine, it's just gonna be like a horse sticking its head up. Oh, that's cool. Super, you guys are super creative. You guys, there's a hurricane happening right now as we speak. People have been Instagramming me and Snapchatting me a video and pictures and oh my gosh, I just worry about you guys. Stay safe. We were watching one video, Gabby and I, and Gabby's like, she should go to the basement, right? She's like, stop texting us, go to the basement and be safe, right? Yeah. Yeah, what are you guys doing sitting on here? Playing stuff. Playing Star Stable. I, I was playing. I'm like this much closer till I have like a level up. Yeah, and I, did you level up? up? She dreamed the other day she was gonna level up. Did no, you? but she already leveled up. Not today though. Oh, yesterday? Uh, a couple days. Oh, so you did level Before up? Before yesterday. Oh. The day that she dreamt it. Oh, the day that she dreamt it, she level up? I uh, know. Yeah. No, after that. Oh, well anyway, dreams really come After true. After the night that she dreamt it. Dreams can she really come true, you guys. We discovered something about our Ruby. They told us that she eats leather. And we're like, leather? Like, she chewed your couch? And they're like, no, but she eats leather. What happened? Sophia's crop, she like, chewed this part off. And she also chewed Nick's watch. Nick's oh, watch. Oh, oh, oh. Nick's watch. And she ate leather, and then <laughs> the oh, next I'm day she busted it up. Yeah, she buffed it up. Did she? Yo, I get to be a bad girl. How can we love well, you, you so much you still? still love yeah, we oh, still love yeah. her. We took a lot, lot longer than normal to get finished with homeschool this morning because we were just, um, the girls both had book reports that they had to write, which is just usually something that they do when they finish a book. They both finished a book around the same time. Also, I'm working on, Sam and I are both working on our channel trailer. If you guys don't know what that is, it's, um, just like every year when you have a YouTube channel, it's a fun thing to make a new trailer, like summing up your year last year. And it's super fun. This is on November the 18th is going to be our third year on YouTube. We're about to start our third year on YouTube. So we're making that and I'm super excited. We want it to be so nice and so perfect and finding the right music is like the hardest thing ever. But so we're working on that. Music. No, I like the music that we used for the walk, but we're not going to use the same music. Mm -hmm. It doesn't fit, but we're going to find the good, we're going to find the perfect music. Yeah. Yeah. You are. Yeah. <laughs> you are a devil. <laughs> Winter has arrived. It is chilly, and so, so begins the fight with my kids to get them to dress appropriately and be warm outside. <laughs> Ruby's like, what's happening here? What is happening? Let me chase the girl on the scooter. Anyway, I 
phoned the girl about the horse and apparently it is an off the track thoroughbred and it's not an easy keeper. So the reason she wanted to talk to me on the phone was because I had a lot of issues and she wanted to discuss them with me so that we could be forewarned. Yeah, so basically he um, has had soundness issues in the past. He gets ulcers. You know what I understand? What? Why don't they put that in the ad? Because she wanted to talk about it. Wow. She's worried. Put it in the ad, then we won't reply. He requires a certain kind of grain. Most of it was just like simple stuff. If you follow her directions, then everything will be fine and it will be good, which we would just follow her directions. Put but it in the ad. knowing that he's off the track, he never raced though. Um she still put it in the ad. <laughs> he gets abscesses. She used to have, basically before she got him, he had so much trouble. He had a bad back. He had abscesses like crazy. But now she's got it all ironed out. And so he only gets abscesses in the spring, stuff like that. And the other thing that was really not awesome was that he needs a lot of leg. And I, I, so I try to get her to explain it to you because all the, le all the school horses need a lot of leg. But basically she wears spurs and uses whips and he doesn't even hardly respond. <laughs> Our dog is barking. Sam had to go back in and tell her to be quiet. Um. Anyway, we're headed to the barn, and I don't even know. Can you guys see my breath? Can you see your breath? I can't even see you. No. Oh, it's cold, you guys. Freezing. Anyway, I brought a bunch of little mitts because there's nothing worse than bringing mitts for yourself. Guess what? I slipped and fell two <laughs> times with my riding boots on the pavement. I hate them now. <laughs> Did you cut your knee? They're not kind running of. boots, they're riding boots. <clears throat> well, you were uh, um, riding my scooter, so. So, what I had to do run you. To you and take it. So, what did you hear about? Is that what you were doing? You were coming to take something away from me? Yeah. And then God struck you down and pushed you on the ground because you were doing a mean thing. Plus, I have riding gloves. Karma. I mean, I have. I want my. I want to, like, wear my riding gloves. Where I feel you? like you'd have better grit. Where are your riding gloves? Mm hmm. We'll have to find them when we get Probably home. Probably in the trunk. Anyway, what do you think about that thoroughbred? Do you think he's a good fit still or no? No. Yeah, I don't think he's a good it's for us either. It's just the details that you need to like find out. Yeah, it's all in the details. Wow. Jasmine, you got a new halter. So pretty. It fits perfect. Oh yeah, the blue one matched your saddle pad, huh? What kind is she? She is a Arabian thoroughbred. An Arabian thoroughbred. Um, How tall is she? She is 15.1 feet. She's my second favorite horse at the barn. This is blue. 
and he is a Percheron Thoroughbred Cross. He's 15.2 hands up. He's so pretty. I know. He's gray though. He's my favorite horse at the barn. What kind of horse is Ben again? Clydesdale Hanoverian. And he's 17.1 hands high. Don't let Ben nibble at you. This is Journey. Do you know what kind she is? He, he's a gelding and he's a paint, maybe with a quarter horse in him. So this is Journey. Hands. Like how about 16 hands? This is Hope and this is Journey. Hope mm. and Journey. And this is Miser. These three horses are my coach's horses. I love him out of them all. Have you ever ridden him before? No. This is Lola. She's also one of my teacher's horses. And she's for sale. She's $15,000. You guys might not know it, but apparently this horse can really jump. He owes Spencer. He's the wonder pony. Yep. Yep, Spencer can jump. Oh, um, I'm just going to tell you, but I might cancel on him, but in two weeks, I'm going to cancel. Two weeks, this girl is probably going to canter. On blue or Spencer. So that's Spencer the Wonder Pony. Gabby rides him and jumps him. Oh. Look, you guys, look who sees us coming. Look at, out of all, oh, well, they're all coming, but as soon as he just stood there and stared at us and was like, oh my gosh, they're my people. All right, let's Congrats. introduce. If you guys don't know, this is my favorite horse at the barn. Ziggy. Ziggy. He is a paint. He has a really cool And he is amazing. Who's this guy? That is Lady. This is Lady. Never his back is Nikki. Who owns Lady? <coughs> Kelly. So somebody else owns Lady. Ziggy is a lease, it's a boarder. He boards here. <coughs> And, and that's Nikki. And Her Nikki, owner's name is Jessie. And that's Nikki back there. She doesn't want anything mm. to do with us. I'm gonna give it to Nikki. The horses here are so super friendly. They just follow us. Come on, Ziggy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Ziggy, come on. No, Okay, I'm gonna miss the Ziggy. Don't ever think we forgot about you, Zig. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.